Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship, and this week we're going to talk about the basics of lighting and DMX. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So even if you are a sound tech and really don't have anything to do with lighting, I suggest you watch this video. It's going to be really quick and just kind of give you the ideas of how lighting connects and the basics of DMX, um, which I think are going to be important to know in case you're going to do any troubleshooting uh, or if your lighting tech uh, calls out sick or anything like that happens. It's good just to have a basic understanding, and this is going to be very basic, of how lighting works. Um, also, if you are starting out with lighting for the very first time, uh, this is going to give you an idea of um, some cheap ways to kind of get going. So what you'll need, obviously you'll need some sort of light. Um, you can see behind me I've got a, um, this is a color rail, um, and it's a fairly affordable light. Now, I just have this in the office, that's why I'm using it today. I'm going to use it like it was a regular Parkan, um, so the circular lights that you usually see. Um, and we're going to be using it in a mode that's very similar to that. So you'll need something that can create light. This is an LED, obviously. Um, you're going to need some sort of way, if you don't have a lighting controller, some sort of way to connect to your light. So uh, what we'll be using today is the, um, the Champsys Magic Q dongle. Um, this is very affordable. It's about 100 bucks US. There is a $15 version as well, um, but it will only work for about five hours at a time before it um, makes you restart it. So it's worth just going ahead and buying the $100 version. And you can use pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be this one, but this is a great way to start. Um, so the the dongle is very affordable. The software is actually free, which is what we'll be using today. It's called Champsys Magic Q. Um, we're going to use a very um, simplified version of it. Um, and then I also have this this particular dongle is 5-pin DMX. DMX comes uh, in 5-pin and 3-pin. Um, so, oops, sorry. Hopefully you can see on there there's 5 pins. So we'll use an adapter to convert it to 3-pin, which is what a lot of the um, very affordable lights are going to be in that you would probably be using in your church. Um, so this will connect to your computer. And then connected to that, you will need a DMX cable. Um, this is actually an audio cable that I have in my hand right now. You would want an actual DMX cable, but the connectors look the same. Um, so in this case, we've got two 3-pin connectors. And that's going to connect to, obviously, your light. So, again, we've got the, the color rail here. There's the front. There's the back. And so the things we're going to talk about today are um, DMX as far as the channels uh, and the number of channels that each light is going to take. Um, so looking at the light here, you can see you've got power in. You've got power out. So you can chain multiple of these lights together. And then over here, you've got your DMX in. You see that? And your DMX out. Um, so this is what's important. The way DMX works uh, is that you can chain as many lights as you want, to a degree, um, off of one DMX run. So I would plug into this light. And if I wanted both these lights connected at the same time, um, I would go out and into the next light out and into the next light. You just keep going until you have all your lights connected. Uh, now you can also get what's called a splitter um, so that you can keep that signal strong if you have a ton of lights. Um, but this is the basic of how everything works. So all the lights will re be receiving all the same signal at the same time, but they will be um, focused on the signals that you tell them to look at. So DMX um, is a program that runs lights. It will send 512 channels of information at any one time, and each of those channels has a value between 0 and 255. And that's the things that are going to make the light work. So we're going to be using this light today in four-channel mode. And so you can visually see it. Four channels is going to look like this. There's a master dimmer, so the excuse me, the, um, the overall brightness, and then you're going to have a red, a green, and a blue. And that's what's going to control the light. So I've got everything connected, and now I'm going to, um, to tell my lighting fixture what um, settings I want to be at 
so that I can then control it with my software. So on this fixture, hopefully you can see this on the screen, um, I have gone through to where it says um, channels. So that's this D001 is telling me that it is set to DMX channel one. And of course, you can go up and down and change it however you need to. If I hit enter again, it's gonna give me what's called a personality or mode. Um, so this is set to 26 channel mode right now, which means that um, this will break up into eight separate pieces and I can have eight different colors going on at a time and then a master control for, um, for brightness and then a master control for strobe. Um, to keep things simple today, I'm going to change it to four channel mode. So again, that's gonna be dimmer, uh, red, green, and blue. And again, very important, as soon as you're done, make sure you hit enter a couple times. Some settings, uh, some lights, if you don't hit enter, um, it will wait like three seconds and it'll revert back to whatever you had it set to the last time you hit enter. So this light's actually not connected, but those are the settings I have on the light behind me. Set so to DMX channel one, and um, it's um, in four channel personality mode. So looking at Magic Q, um, I have it in the simple mode today um, because if you're using an old school uh, faders DMX controller, it's going to look like this. Um, you can see we've got four channels that are assigned to this light. We've got our dimmer, red, green, and blue. And that's the order that they are coming out of the board. As I turn the dimmer up, you'll see that the values go, if you're looking at this number here, from zero all the way up to 255. And the same with each of these colors. Now you notice nothing's happening right now because I'd have to have the dimmer up and one of the colors up at the same time for us to see anything. This light's very bright and it's right behind me, so I'm gonna just set it to just a little bit of um, brightness. And then as I turn up red, you can see we get red, we get green, we get blue. And of course you can do combinations. So green and blue at 100% will give you cyan. Blue and red give you magenta. And you got a ton of different colors you can work with. And again, as you turn those up and down, you've also got your dimmer control to make the overall brightness go up and down. Um, so the important things for today for you to realize is um, one, each light has a certain number of channels um, and you can't really have them overlap. So for a visual example of that, um, here is an example we did for church pretty recently. Um, and what we did was we went out and we visually just wrote down um, a cell for each 512 channels, and then we put the fixtures and how many channels they take up. So this particular light here takes up eight channels, and so we did one light, then directly after that another light, another light, another light. So the important thing you have to know is you can't have overlap. Um, so you can't have this light start on 100, end at 107, and the next light start on 105. It would have to start on 108 or higher, um, and go on. Now, the exception to that is you can have lights completely overlap. So if I was running out of channels and I wanted to have um, these two lights do the exact same thing, I could set them both to 100. And then if I turn red up on one, it's going to be red on the other, so on and so forth. So when you plug everything in, make sure you're careful that you don't overlap channels uh, and that you know the personality type and the channel that it starts on. I hope this has been helpful for you. We're gonna do more lighting videos in the near future that are a lot more in depth than this. Um, if you have any questions uh, or certain things you want us to focus on, and of course we'll still be doing audio as well, um, please feel free, feel free to email me at techtuesday at ascensionworship.com. And until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.